Hello of YouTube land. My name is Wildboy5699. Welcome back to another video. Now, I was going to post a cameo uh, video uh, topic today on YouTube, uh, but I figured since today is a, uh, a very important day, I figured I would release that video tomorrow and make this video today to talk about this topic and share a story and stuff like that. So, uh, when I'm recording this, I'm recording this the same day I get it uploaded. So, it's 11.30 in the afternoon on September 11, 2024. And 23 years ago today in 2001, the world uh, officially stopped turning. And if you don't know what that means, it basically means we were under a... So anyway, if you don't know what happened uh, in, on September 11, 2001, we were... America was under a terrorist attack. Two planes flew into the World Trade Center in New York. Uh, a plane crashed near, in the Pentagon near Washington, D.C. And a flight called Flight 93 was headed to the White House to crash into it. But the passengers took over and, and ended up getting crashed in the field in Pennsylvania. So, I wanted to talk about this because, I mean, I never talked about this topic before. I maybe did one video talking about one of the movies on this day and stuff like that. So, from what I was told, because I was two, two and a half when September, on, when, on this, when it happened in 2001. So, I don't remember anything. But... My parents were telling me that we were going to, we were on the way to Little Rock for an appointment at Children's Hospital the day of, and we were halfway to Little Rock, and the new, we were listening to the radio, or they were listening to the radio, and it said that the, uh, a plane has flown into the uh, World Trade Center, has crashed into the World Trade Center, and my dad said, well, later, that was an accident, or it was a terrorist attack, and I do believe it was a terrorist attack. And I think 20, 30 minutes later, another plane crashed into the World Trade Center. And then about an hour later, both towers came, tumble, came crashing down. And about 3,000 people alone on this event, on this day, were killed. And about 20,000 people were about to seriously injured. So, from what I, like I said, from what I remember, I was in Little Rock for most of the day. But then again, I was two years old, so I don't remember anything about this event. But the fact that I was alive when it happened still blows me away because you see many recent events talk about Pearl Harbor or World War II and stuff like that. But I wanted to talk about this video and just talk about uh, up stuff like that. So when I get interested in something, I look a lot of, look up a lot of information. I look up a lot of videos. I look up a lot of see if there's any films and stuff like that. Um, so when I uh, so when it was, so about 10 years ago, I was really looking up information on September 11th, and then I found a couple of videos on YouTube, and apparently, known to man, there's only two videos of footage of the first plane crash on the World Trade Center. There is one made by a French Raiders who was doing a, uh, a test video of some sorts, and they heard one of the planes flying to the ground, they looked up, and they saw the first plane crash into the World Trade Center. And then about 10 minutes, about a couple of minutes later, the, all the news is ABC News and stuff like that started posting it, uh, started sh going live on it. And then about a little bit later, they ha most of the news coverage um, saw, saw the plane crash in the world, the second plane crash in the World Trade Center. You can find many videos on YouTube of uh, the plane crashing, the second plane crashing in the second tower of the World Trade Center. And then you can see the video, you can see many videos of the World Trade Center crack coming down. You can hear phone calls of the video, of people, you can find videos of phone calls, uh, people, uh, actual footage from inside the tower crashing, uh, what the towers came down. And then you can find, and then you can hear, you can look up phone call videos, you can look up movies and stuff like that. So I found two movies that I, I bought in 2014. The first one I watched on the way to Florida was called World Trade Center, released by Paramount Picture Star Nicolas Cage, Michael Pena, and so many other people. Basically, it talks about the two firefighters, Will and uh, John, uh, Will Pomuno and John McLaughlin, uh, true story, uh, getting stuck in the rubble of the World Trade Center, and it took over 20 hours for them to get out. And basically, the movie talks about, or the movie's about them trying to keep each other alive, talking and stuff like that. And luckily, and luckily, those two people, John and Will, did survive. And I think both of them are retired and they're still alive to this day. In the end of the World Trade Center movie, both of them end up making a cameo appearance at the end of the at the end of the World Trade Center movie. And then my, my brother was telling me they actually watched that movie when he was in high school, 
and uh, and then a year and then uh, uh you said it was a really good movie i think it's a fantastic movie and then a couple of months the movie came out in november 2006 and i think a couple months prior in april 2006 universal released a movie called united 93 which was about the flight that was going to head to the white house and crash into it but the passengers fought back and that's how they ended up crashing into the into the into the field in pennsylvania and that was that was a more better reception movie is a fantastic movie too but i enjoyed world trade center more i think united 93 is a really fantastic movie uh and i but i like world trade center more uh united 93 has a lot more graphic detail you see people again you see people you see the terrorists stabbing people on the plane you see the planes crashing at the trade center you see the plane going down on the field and stuff like that and then with the the the, the only graphic thing you see in the world in the world trade center movie is the um is them into the in, inside the tower crashing uh with the tower coming down what they're inside and it was a really intense scene and i guess they were talking about uh i guess not only that but uh eight years prior to that in 1993 somebody bombed the one of the world trade centers it was but it was that was also another terrorist attack i can't remember if it was an american or another uh somebody from al-qaeda or something like that but uh, eight years prior to that, somebody did ended up bombing the World Trade Center, and a couple of a couple hundred people were killed. But it was absolutely heartbreaking. And then I, when I watch videos of it now, and I just I just can't feel myself doing. I used to watch many videos and stuff like that, and just while watching back, it brings a tear to my eye. Watching the movie brings a tear to my eye. Watching both movies, it's just upsetting. You know, like I said, I was extremely young when it happened, but that was the day, one of the only days in the wor world that everybody came together one of the and all that so then after that that's when we went to war and stuff like that and the many movies and books and songs like that and it's absolutely uh intense about this event happened like i wasn't there in new york city i was all the way in arkansas i was on the way to little rock i was two years old and but i was alive here on this earth when it happened and it's absolutely crazy and 23 years later and it's just absolutely still heartbreaking to talk about. And when I watch videos on YouTube or when I see posts on YouTube or follow us on Facebook, it just it just gets me so emotional and stuff like that. It really breaks my heart that that happened. But many people said if 9-11 didn't happen, the world would be a completely different place than it is now. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. But um, I know I've had I talked to many people. They were in school. They were pulled out of school that day and stuff like that. And then I remember... I think a couple of years prior, in 1995, Oklahoma City, one of the, there was a there was the Oklahoma City bombing, and then in 1999, a couple of months, a couple of weeks before I was born, Columbine happened, and then the earliest attack I remember was Sandy Hook, and then the movie shooting in Colorado, and then I remember the Paris bombings, and then it's just it's just absolutely incredible. And then people want to make then conspiracy videos about how 9/11 never happened and stuff like that. I'm like, if 9/11 didn't ha never happen, then why is there videos and footage of planes crashing the World Trade Center and tumbling down? And um, you know, one of the things that breaks my heart when I watch the videos is people top stuck on the top floor and you see people jumping out the windows 100 feet, 100 to about a thousand feet in the air or a hundred feet in the air and it breaks my heart you can hear them crashing down and then and then there's many people who died in the 9-11 that don't know who they were and their bodies were never found stuff like that i'm just like god i'm good i'm like geez but like i think there was like many firefighters many civilization everybody that was on a plane was killed whether it be the ones that crashed in the tower crashed in the pentagon and stuff like that it just absolutely it's incredible and not in a good way i'm sorry and then it's 10 years later, and then after 9-11 happened, Osama bin Laden went into hiding, and nobody knew where he was. And then 10 years after 9-11, Osama bin Laden was shot and killed by U.S. Navy, Army men or Navy men or something like that. And then everybody celebrated. Of course, I was still 11 years old, so I had no idea what people were celebrating about Osama bin Laden. I didn't know who Osama bin Laden was until 2014. So, well, you know, the man behind it all ended up getting, ended up getting killed by Americans. So interesting you can find videos of that of, of the guy who killed osama bin laden has come forward to tell who he was and stuff like that so i really recommend checking his name's like robert o'neill or something like that he's the one who actually shot and killed osama bin laden you can find videos of that on youtube um but i just wanted to make this quick video just remembering the people who lost their lives on september 11 23 years ago today and i just hope that people who ended up getting killed or had a family member getting killed or having a friend getting killed in that event I hope not only they have found peace, but the people who ended up losing their lives on September 11 have found peace in the afterlife. So, 
if there's a story, a 9-11 story you want to tell me about you remembering from your earliest memory to, you know, when it happened, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, rate it with a thumbs up. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in the future video. Take it easy.